Good afternoon, folks. Alrighty, for today's video, this will be Russian versus Czech. I would like to just talk a little bit about the infinitive. Just a small observation I made um, when going through some grammar for Czech. Now, I noticed that, and I could be wrong, so um, for those of you who are natives of Russian, uh, if, if this does exist in the Russian language, feel free to make a video response or comment in the, in the comment area. Okay, so for the infinitive, there are certain things that um, you can't use the infinitive for in Czech, but you can use in Russian. For example, we have to like and not to like. So the first example I have in Czech is rad or rada studui hrai hris pšateli. Rad studui hrai hris pšateli. So um, first of all, rad, rada, as you can see, that's the gender rad is for is the masculine and rada is the feminine so the sentence means i like to play games with my friends or video games i like to play video games with my friends so the rule here is whenever you say you like to do something you don't necessarily use the infinitive you have to use the activity verb uh, which is what they call it in czech so in this case the activity verb is to do it to do it okay so um, anytime you want to say I like to do this I love to do this I love to do that um, then you have to use the activity verb okay so um, rad or rad rad or rada studui hrai hris pšateli I like to play video games with my friends the second one is um, what is it? Rad chodim ribarjit spšateli. Rad chodim ribra. Oh, let me start over. Rad chodim ribarjit spšateli. So that means I like going fishing with my friends. I like going fishing with my friends. Okay. So um, as you can see here, ribarjit, that actually is the, that's not the activity. Um, that's not the activity verb, that's actually actually the infinitive. But since, we're, since now we're saying that I, I like going, you know, we have going in general, then we have to use the, uh, the activity verb, which in this case is holding, and then you use the infinitive. Okay, so that's, I guess you say that's an exception there. So, chodim ribarjit spšateli. All right, and for the negative, basically, you don't like to do this, you don't like to do that. We have nerad poslocham. Nerad poslocham. This means I don't like listening. I don't like to listen. I don't like listening. Um, right? Yeah, I don't like listening. I don't like to listen. Nerad poslocham. But when you be, if you're being specific about something, a particular thing, like in this case, Nerad said divam na televizi. Nerad said divam na televizi. I don't like to watch television. So here, when you're being specific, you have to add the set before the um, the activity verb. Nerad said divam na televizi. Okay. So um, that's the infinitive. That's well, not the infinitive, but that's how it's done in Czech. You can use the infinitive, but it all depends on what you're using, which uh, I just saw, I, I just showed you the chodim, rad chodim ribarjit spšateli. I like to go fishing with my friend. Now let's look at the Russian part. Russian, first one says, nie nravitsa izuchat jeziki i rybačit sruskimi. Nie nravitsa izuchat jeziki i Rybachit sruskimi. So I like to go. I like to study languages and fish with Russians. So nravitsa is like you could say you could say nravitsa or liublu, which is here. When you use either of those, then you have to go right into the infinitive. Izuchat is the infinitive uh, for to learn. Okay. And then yaziki yaziki. Languages e ri ribachit. This is the infinitive of to fish. Ribachit. Okay, so now you see the difference here. You in, in Czech they use the activity verb when they say they like to do something. 
but in Russian they actually use the infinitive. Okay, so activity verb and then the infinitive in Russian. All right. The next one, ya liu blu, pa bi uh pa. Oh, see, sorry. Ya liu blu, pa riba cheat sruskimi. Ya liu blu, pa riba cheat sruskimi. So I like going fishing with Russians, or I like to go fishing with with uh, with Russians. Okay. Um, so here it looks like when you say I'm like going, they just put it together with the infinitive. Pa riba cheat. So the infinitive is still there. It is still there. But as you can see in Czech, they have the activity verb separate from the infinitive. Okay, so that's a little different from Russian. And then of course we have a negative. I don't like to go I don't like to fish with him. I don't like to fish with him. So again, um, nravitsa, which is like, to me, I like. And then ribachit is the infinitive of fishing, to fish, sni, with him. Okay? So yeah, I just wanted to make that, uh, make this short video just to um, show this observation that I made a few days ago. I said, wait, I said, well, you know, I mean, this is Slavic language, but the rule is a little different in this uh, in this respect here. We have to we have to use the activity verb when we say like. Um, I'm going to probably later on. I'm going to make some more grammar videos. I'm going to go in more depth with the grammar or with the Russian versus Czech. Once I, once I get a little bit more comfortable with the Czech language, um, I, I'm familiar with a lot more of the Russian grammar than Czech right now. But um, I think it will be interesting to go in more depth because there are some similarities, of course, because there are Slavic languages, then you have differences. They're, they definitely have, like as far as vocabulary, as you can see here, they have a lot of similarities. Spshatili, and they say sruskimi. You see? So a lot of, they have a lot of similarities. So like I said in the future, I'll probably make a video, a little series, Russian versus Czech, and just go through a lot of the grammar stuff. So yeah, that's it for this video, and again, if I made any mistakes here, um, like I said, I, maybe in Russian they can use the activity verb in, in, this, in this same scenario. Uh, let me know, and um, I'll, I'll appreciate it. So thanks for viewing, and I look forward to any questions or any comments you may have.